In this video, let's go ahead and see how we can tackle division by zero. So if you've done any kind of programming, so OOP, languages such as Java, C++, if you try to perform a division by zero, that will blow and throw an exception. So similarly with Postgres. So if I pretty much just select and then one, or oh actually let's go ahead and use a bigger number, so 10, and then divided by zero, right? So 10 divided by zero, it doesn't really make sense. And it's like me saying to you, I've got 10 apples and I wanna divide it by zero people, right? It doesn't make sense at all. And this should throw an error. So if I press enter, you can see that we have this error right here, division by zero. So how do we tackle this? Well, we have a special keyword and that is null if. And basically null if takes two arguments and returns the first argument if the second argument is not equal to the first argument. And let me go ahead and demonstrate this. So if I pretty much just type select and then null and then if, and inside of this null if function, it takes two arguments. So we can pass the first argument as a number. And basically, if the second argument is the same as the first argument, the result of this query will be null. Otherwise, the result will be the first argument. So if I say 10 and then 10, so right here you can see that the result is null. If I go ahead and say 10 and any other number, so 10 and one, the result is 10. So if I go ahead and say 10 and 19, still 10. And if I flip this around, so if I say, for example, 100 and then 19, the result should be 100 because 19 is not equal to 100, as you can see right here. And if I say 100 and also 100, you can see that the result is no. So what we can achieve with this is if I select and then 10 divided by no, you can see that Postgres doesn't throw an error. And that means that we can now safely perform our division. So select 10 and then no if, and then pass two and any other number you see that we get the correct output. So 10 divided by two is actually five. So this means that now, if I pass zero and zero, and this is what we actually care about really is, if there is a division by zero, we don't want to throw an exception or an error. We simply want to return no. So I can go ahead and press enter, and you can see that no error and we can use the coalesce as we you as you've seen before. So I can say coalesce and then select 10 divided by now if zero, zero. And then I can have a default value. So let's go ahead and press zero and then enter. And I get syntax error. And that's because I need to perform a select before coalesce and then enter and my bad, so what I need to do is really remove this select right here. So if I press enter now, you can see that the result, so if I run that again, you can see that the result is zero instead of no. So this is how you handle division by zero. If you have any questions with null if and call this, drop me a message, otherwise join me in the next video. See ya.